It's the Frank Show. What? The Frank Show. Come on. The Frank Show. What? The Frank Show. Come on. The Frank Show. What? The Frank Show. Come on. The Frank Show. Bitch, it's time for the show. Aloha, heads, heads. It's your boy Frank, and it is time for the Frank Show. Now, we have a special episode for you today. There's a chance that you've never seen this show before, and I hope you enjoy it. Now, I hope it don't bother you too much. I promise you, I'm gonna grow on you in time. I always do. Or you say, forget about it, and that's okay with me as well. Now, if you're watching this, you either own the PlayStation VR and you're like, hey, Frankie, what kind of games do you think are the best games? Or you're thinking about getting the PlayStation VR and you're like, come on, show me what you got, which I completely understand. Now, with the holiday season coming up, a lot of people are considering a purchase, especially with Skyrim, Doom, and even a possibility of Fallout VR coming our way, not to mention Bravo Team and a host of other indie titles. Now, I personally am very excited for the future of VR and definitely believe in it, but I know there are a lot of non-believers out there. Now, there's a chance that you just haven't demoed it, which I, I highly suggest you do, and, I, and there's a chance that you just aren't sure if there's any great games out there right now, or if there are great games, what's so great about them? Why are they different? Why can't you just play them as a flat game? And you know what? Frankie Boy is here for you. Now, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope maybe it makes you think a little bit more. Hey, PlayStation VR does seem like a pretty cool option for me. Hey, maybe I'll check it out. Try it out. Call my buddy that has one. Go to a store that has one showing off. Hey, anything to get you into virtual reality. Now, on with the show. I right, first up, Farpoint with the AIM controller. Now, I specify with the AIM controller because Farpoint is a great game, but with the AIM controller, we're at a whole nother level. Now, I was having a discussion with someone the other day where they were saying that they didn't feel like Farpoint got a fair enough rap. Now, I believe this to be semi-true because when... <coughs> Farpoint came out, it definitely got a host of positive reviews. Now, the number one issue was that people couldn't get their hands on the AIM controller. Most people didn't just want to buy it digital because they wanted to get it with the AIM controller and because there were no AIM controllers without the Farpoint game, there was no real option to buy it physical and then or digital and then get it later. So they just figured they'd wait for it. Now, I see posts every single day about people that say, oh my God, I finally got my AIM controller. Farpoint is amazing. And the thing is, if all of those people would have gotten it on day one, Farpoint would have blown up like crazy. And the, the problem lied with Sony because they had people worried that the AIM controller was gonna just be another sharpshooter, which I completely understand. Sony does have a bad history of peripherals, but I think they're really trying with PlayStation VR. They've been trying with VR for a long time. If you ask people to follow Sony, for a long time and it, and it's it really is sticking it is it's great fun now I like I was saying the other day this game is is like to VR what Halo did to agree to first-person shooters I mean getting into the world of Farpoint moving around aiming your gun honestly up to your eyes and aiming down shooting is just just another level of gaming that you that I personally never thought was going to be possible just sitting in the back room of my house. I thought that I would at least, at the very least, have to go to some expensive arcade and pay probably 20 bucks just to do it for 10 minutes, where now I can... I can honestly do it any time that I want. I can hop into this world and just blast spiders, aliens, hop in with a buddy and just jump around and blast spiders and aliens. And honestly, I think if they ever implement any kind of PVP, this game will just blow up entirely because, because it, it, it's kind of astonishing how great it works. And even when you bend down in game, your character model bends down. When you move your hands, the arms move in game. Uh, I mean, sometimes they get a little bit off, but what are they gonna do? They're only tracking a gun in your head. And with a gun in your head, they create basically an entire character model that you feel like you're in this world. I mean, you get wrapped up in this gameplay and a lot of people are scared by spiders and everything. And I, I mean, I understand that, but it's a game. And, I, and you're just supposed to be having fun. And Farpoint truthfully is a, it's so much fun. Now, I, I'm not gonna put a price for Farpoint because for the most part, you can either get it on sale somewhere, you're gonna buy it digital, you're gonna pay overpriced for an AIM controller out of stock, or you're just gonna have to wait until you get an AIM bundle when they're finally in stock. So uh, we may put prices for some of the games, Farpoint is not one of those. All right, next up on our list, 
Next up on the list is Super Hot VR. Now, a lot of people have played Super Hot on their computers, on their at PlayStation 4s now, on their Xboxes, and they're like, Frankie, Super Hot looks fantastic. And, I, and I've seen people play it in VR, and it, and it really is another experience altogether. Honestly, I could spend days playing Super Hot in VR. It's the closest I've gotten to that kind of like matrixy feel. Now, I personally love time control situations, a game a time manipulation thing. So having an entire game dedicated to time manipulation mixed with first person shooter, another one of my favorite genres, it, it, it's just phenomenal. I mean, ducking and dodging and moving and shooting and throwing and tossing and it, re it really all does work. Now, people are gonna tell you it doesn't work. The tracking, the, the tracking is perfect. It's all about your setup. That's the number one thing you gotta learn with PlayStation VR is you do need a solid setup. You need to pay attention to what you're doing. You need to follow the instruction, the advice of how to do it, which I have tons of videos on how to do it. I've talked about it tons of times. And if you ever wonder, just ask me. But if you get the right setup and you get everything good for super hot VR, it is the most phenomenal experience, honestly one of them that you will ever have in your life. It will stick with you for years to come. And it, honestly, the first time I played Super Hot on a computer, I was just kind of like, whoa, this is really cool. And the, now the first time I ever finally got to try Super Hot VR, which is when I got to try it on a buddy's riff before it ever came to PlayStation VR, I couldn't wait to taste that crisp bite of getting to try it and getting to play it every single day. And I still play Super Hot all the time. I just, I don't stream that one all the time because there's only so much Super Hot you're gonna wanna watch until I have like a body cam. That's what you wanna see the person playing a game. Now you can get that baby for $24.99 and that is some of the best $24.99 you ever spend. There's tons of levels, there's extra little levels and things to do, and even the flat version is really cool. It's got a little like hacker story built into it, and, it, and it, it's interesting and fun. And what's cool about it is when you play the normal game levels, you can watch replays of how you play it at normal speed, so you do all these awesome maneuvers in slow-mo that you could never accomplish in real life in, a, in like a fast-paced scenario, and you get to watch them replay, and it's, it's, it's beautiful. Next up on our list is CCP Game Spark. Now, this one did not come as a surprise to me. I was anticipating this one to be great. Now, what I love about this game is that rather than going for tennis, rather than going for ping pong, rather than going for some kind of basketball or some kind of something, a dodgeball or even racquetball, they, they created something new. They mixed all these little things and made us a brand new sport. And I promise you, it's a hell of a lot of fun. Now, my one thing that I'm seeing is a lot of people don't want to get up and move. And it really is a great game to get up and move. Yeah, honestly, you really should try it. You should really do it because it will save you all the gym fees that you need if you really want to get into it. Now there's some challenges, but it's definitely multiplayer focused. Tossing that ball, bouncing it off your little shield, dodging somebody else's ball as it goes behind you while you're tossing another one, putting a little spin on it. It just, it feels so, so in, 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 yeah, it's it's you 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 get engrossed in this world. You just get lost playing this game and playing your opponent. And when you're playing a good opponent, you're doing it well. It, the, the competition is really there. I mean, it, it's a it's a fun game. It's a competitive game. It's a it's just an interesting game. And not only on top of all that, it's put to us in a beautiful package that they continually update and support. And I promise they're only going to push more updates and support in the future because that's how that company does it. And and so if you have not tried out Spark, it's $29.99, which is a little bit pricey, but like I said, you're not gonna go to the gym. You can play this baby for 30 minutes or so every day, and you're not ever gonna go have to go to the gym again. And you're gonna be working out one arm probably more than the other, but you gotta learn. You gotta get ambidextrous from this one. And I, I promise you, this will be money well spent. Next up on our list is, and I know a lot of you've been waiting for this one, Resident Evil 7. Now, this is the game that made VR for a lot of people last year. Had them buy this headsets, had them get on board, and a lot of people have gotten bored since then, but I think that they just fall asleep a little bit to what's coming out, so that's why this is the shocky system for what's out there if you haven't seen it already. Now, Resident Evil is phenomenal. I don't play horror games. I've never been into the genre. It's never been my thing, but I do like puzzle-solving games, and I do like first-person shooters, and I do like RPGs with smaller inventory systems. I don't like crazy, like, 50,000 pages of menus. Frankie can't handle that. And Resident Evil accomplished all of that in, in, a, in, in a haunted house. 
house. I mean, come on, it was a haunted house, and that was pretty cool. It wasn't some crazy, like, far off, far fetched fields, or weird, like a haunted asylum. It was a haunted house, which was cool. And you really only have one family and these creepy things to worry about. And yeah, that's a jump scare here and there, but don't let that stop you from trying one of the most phenomenal games I've ever played in my life. Now, there's another one we're not gonna price because you can get it on sale, honestly, probably anywhere. If you wanna buy a digital, which I go all digital, by the way, because it's, who wants to take their headset off to change games? Uh, I, I think it's still $59.99. It might've dropped the price a little bit recently, but it's worth every single penny. The DLC is great too, but I would say maybe wait on Resident Evil because the Gold Edition is coming out in December and that's gonna have all the DLC and all the extras and all the kitten kabutas for normal price. So you might wanna wait and grab that one unless you get it at a great deal. And finally, what may surprise some of you, but I truthfully think this is one of the top must-have PlayStation VR games that you just gotta get. It's Werewolves Within. I mean, I mean, this game is phenomenal as a social VR game. This game is phenomenal for people that don't like talking to people. This game will get you out and about on a Friday night if you don't like to get out and about. Now, Bridge Crew's fun, but you just don't get that same goofing around kind of aesthetic and feeling and vibe that you get from Werewolves Within. Now, you can find a bad party every now and again, but for the most part, you know, most of the people are great, the community's great, and I always find games. Uh, it takes a second or two, so Sometimes, but honestly, you get a match within no time, and, and it's just fun. The rules are pretty simple. Maybe two games in, and you'll you you may not know what you're doing, but you'll get it. It's not hard at all. And this is another one where you can find this maybe on sale all over the place. I think I read a story even about a kid that had a learning disorder, and his parents put him on Werewolves Within to get more comfortable talking to people, and he felt more comfortable talking to people. Now, if you have issues with social interaction or hanging out with other people, don't worry. Your boy Frankie's been there before. It happens. Don't even worry about it. You get better. Don't with the promise. You promise. You promise. These werewolves of thing can help you there. Because you can just hang out with people and you know what? If you feel uncomfortable, just hit the power button. Who cares? Just dip. But you're not going to feel uncomfortable because people are cool. People that own VR and the VR community in general and honestly our headset community in general for the most part, I don't know, maybe a rando or two that shows up now and again. It's it's such great people, and honestly, you guys, make sure you join the communities, the Discord, the PSN community, because if you have a question, honestly, people will answer your questions. They're not gonna be like a jerk to you. Even if you think it's a stupid question, I see people ask questions that like people ask me 10 times a day in there, and people still answer them. They're not rude. People don't just troll people for the heck of it. It's not, I mean, because what's the point? I mean, you can do that, but we're just gonna mute you. I mean, what's the, what's the fun in that? I mean, come on, you guys. It's, Let's have a positive environment, and honestly, so far this journey has been very fun and very positive, and that's the thing. So with VR, it's beautiful, it's tons of fun, it's great, but the thing is sometimes you might need a little help with your setup. You might need a little help making sure you got the right stuff going on. You might need a little help here and there, and you gotta ask those questions rather than just throwing it out the door and saying, hey, this ain't for me, it's not fun, it doesn't work, the tracking's bad, it's not good, because it, it, it that's not true, it, it's really great. And it also, if you're worried that you have to have a PlayStation 4 Pro, don't even worry about it. I play all the games that I play on my Pro, on my OG, and other than the little frame rates here and there, it's not gonna bug you. It, works phenomenally and it still kind of blows my mind because that's pretty damn old tech if you if you think about it right now and it's playing virtual reality while the rest of the world wanting to play this this solid of virtual reality has got to have like the, the newest graph not the newest graphics cards don't get me wrong but pretty solid rig to play virtual reality so honestly consider PlayStation VR I mean you can get them on deals all over the place you can get your PS4 and you probably already have a PS4 if you're watching this channel you probably wanted a 60 plus million people out there that own a PlayStation 4 and why not get a PlayStation VR because it's not going anywhere they have said that they're gonna push it through the holiday season they see the numbers they see the attach rate the thing is people buying VR we're buying tons of VR games it's not like your normal game you buy they're buying almost half the games if not more of the games out there ask anybody and they really do like them and they jump around and maybe they don't finish one here and again but the thing is the, the purchase of admission like I always say it's like a movie you guys you might pay $20 30 to see a movie and even if it's a trash movie I mean you're gonna be upset now you may pay 15 20 dollars for a game but even if it's a trash VR game at least you got to be in some kind of world at least you're not just looking at your TV like oh that was trash 
You know what I mean? At least the developers went through the trouble of, I mean, even if they just pasted together a bunch of assets, they, they went through the trouble of pasting those assets into a VR game and they're trying to do something for the VR community. Now, I don't, I don't push trash games, you guys. We're, if you, if you want to subscribe to this channel, I promise you we're honest. If I don't like your game, I'm going to tell you I don't like your game. I may have puffed a little at first, but you know what? I had those starry, glazy eyes of VR and I still have them every single day, but I do have to, I got to hide. I gotta, I gotta peel them back a little bit so I can see that ugly, that ugly center sometimes in some games because some games just are trash games and some games are not trash games. They just come from a studio that's maybe their first game and they're trying really hard and the price might be okay or a little off and sometimes we can talk to them. Now, another thing that I've noticed that a lot of games that we like that could work in VR, if we email the developers, if we message the developers, if we tell them that we want these games in VR, if there's any killer games that you want, from honestly, look at indies. Make sure you think about indies because they're the ones that are going to listen way more than the big AAAs because they want to get out there. If there's any games you can think of, you guys let me know in the description. You guys thumbs up the ones that you're thinking and let's reach out to that developer. Let's see if we can make a game convert to PlayStation VR or just VR. And hey, maybe it'll happen because it seemed to happen with Chroma Gun and it could happen with some other games in the future because why not? I mean, if we're playing them, we should have some saying over what's going on. That's why, and to a certain degree, I started this channel. I mean, I'm a gamer at heart. I'm not some media guy. I, I go to work 60 hours a week, and I come home, and I play video games, and I just happen to want to go here and talk about them because that's what I went to college for, and that's just what I love doing. I mean, I love entertaining, and when I'm at work, I'm a salesman, but still, I love entertaining. What you gonna do? And that's the thing, you guys. We gotta just support this, baby, because it's beautiful. It's a amazing technology. AR is probably going to do great, but it's never going to be VR. It's never going to be, I can just plug in at my home and go anywhere I want to go. All right, all right, all right, that's enough, you guys. I, I, it's an, I've, I've been winded and talked to you brains off, and I'm sorry that I don't ramble like this often, but you know what? This is a topic that I'm excited about, I'm passionate about, I love, I'm interested in, so I just, I want to share my interest with you. I want you to know that if you feel the same way as me, you are not alone, and I promise you, you are, you are seriously not alone if you if, like I said if you haven't joined a discard there are a lot of people that feel the same way as Frank does and there are a lot of people all over the world that do that are not hating on VR do not listen to mass media the mass media is lying to you they do not want you to put your money in VR because they tried to plan out the future they tried to plan out the future for 2D games you know what we're gonna say no we are not gonna let that happen we're gonna tell them VR is, is freaking amazing no matter what you say mass media no matter what you say we're here to stay, headsets. Now, thank you all for coming through. You're beautiful, you're beautiful. Uh, if you'd like to, you can give me a thumbs up, and honestly, only if you'd like to. Leave a message, share this with your buddies, post it on your Facebook, send it to your grandma. <laughs> uh, uh, but more important than all of that is that if you wanna stay up to date on everything PlayStation VR, and you don't mind this ugly mug, freaking subscribe. I mean, come on. Oh, no. I was trying to do Mr. B uh, Mr. Oogie Boogie right there. I love you guys. He writes smooches.